everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne. We're taking a look at WordPress and WordPress.com. Uh, I use WordPress, the, the self-hosted version, as my the, the main tool for my website. I also teach teachers how to set up their own website using WordPress. So I wanted to put together a series of videos showing you how to get up and running and get started using WordPress. Uh, I use, as I said, WordPress. I think that it's a uh, excellent, very powerful tool to host your own website, to run your own website. Um, and so what I wanna do is take a little bit of time to look at how to get up and running. So they'll have a series of videos showing you how to get started. Before you start this process, there are a couple steps that I think that you should go through before you, you begin the process, as I said. One of which is, and I have posts about this on my website. Um, this is my site, one of the posts on it. This is using WordPress. Uh, I think you need to identify who you are, who you would like to be before you get started in the process. And, and in this post, I basically talk about writing down six words, doing a six word memoir to identify who you are, who you would like to be as you get started. I think it's very important to start the process by thinking about this digital identity before you construct it. So as you begin planning and working out and developing the website, as you start to have questions about what identity you want to showcase online, you can have some of those answers ready to go before you get started. And this website, uh, in this post, I have a lot of guidance about, um, you know, mood boards and images that you want to use the to set up the look of your website. So I definitely think that you should start with this post. Um, and then as you progress a little bit, I think it's important to think about how will your website interconnect with the other spaces in which you live online. So this is thinking about developing your own personal cyber infrastructure. It sounds like a mouthful, it is a mouthful, um, but I think that as you develop this website, you wanna think about, okay, where does this website live within all of the other spaces in which you interact online? But we'll get to that, or at least you should have already perused that before you got to this piece. So if you search for WordPress, you're gonna come across a lot of different links and some of them can be pretty confusing. The ones that you're really looking for, the ones you have to tell the difference between are the wordpress.com and wordpress.org. So it, it can be challenging to try and figure out the, the difference between these two. The major difference between .com and .org is basically who's hosting your website. Uh, so you wanna think about who's hosting the web, website. If you use wordpress.com, you're using the service for free. You uh, have WordPress hosting it for you. Um, you can either pay a little bit for more features, but they are basically hosting it for you. WordPress.org is the, the version that I use. Basically, I download or actually pay a service, Reclaim Hosting, to download WordPress, the, the software, for my website, they download it and I host it elsewhere um, so I can control everything. So the, there's two different versions of the, in this. The, the one that we're gonna focus on is wordpress.com. So if I head over to wordpress.com, I'm basically gonna head on in here and take a look at, um, you know, they'll say get started, see plans, log in, get started. So they make it really easy for you to get right off the bat. I already have a, a, a login and credentials for this. You're gonna go in and hit get started. And as you click on get started, what you'll notice is they immediately try and steer you into a type of website that you wanna use. I'm gonna go a bit around the, the bend just to because I already have an account set up. But you're gonna go in, you're gonna follow through, they're gonna ask you to create an account. Uh, you've most likely created tons of accounts in the past with numerous services, but I'm gonna go in and just log in because I already have an account with them. And one of the things you'll notice, it's gonna be behind the scenes of wordpress.com and it's going to show me some of the services that I already have. But then if I try to create a new site, then it's going to give me the same options that you see over here. So let me quickly get to that so I can show you um, that basically you're going to end up at the same place. So I go to my sites and this is, what, like I said, I'm already logged in. I can see the different sites that I've created so far. I'm gonna click on add new site. 
And this is the same process that you would start off here. It's just this, they're asking you to start a site before you create your account and everything else. So I'm gonna say create a shiny new WordPress site. I'm not gonna go this route. I'm gonna say start now. And once again, I'm basically right back with what you have here. So where I'm gonna start is I'm gonna say start with a website. Now I had the option for the blog, I had the option for the portfolio. I'm just gonna start with the main website. I typically do not like it how uh, when many services try and get you up and running with what they think you should have because you're gonna modify anyway, but at least it gives you a starting point. So I'm gonna basically, I pick the, the website option and I'm gonna skip the theme for now because I'm gonna address this in a later uh, video. So it asked me to give my site an address. So this is the, the URL. Uh, for my website. One of the things that you want to think about as you pick this domain name is what do you want people to type in when they come and find your website? That's why, once again, I think it's uh, to your benefit to go through those earlier posts that I shared about identifying who you are, who you would like to be, develop that six word memoir and figure out, okay, well, who am I in six words? You know, who do I want to be? And that will help you think about your address. So let's say I search for play and I'll say tech. So I can have Play Tech 2017 WordPress. So let's say Play Explore. So I can have Play Explore Blog. Let's play Play Explore Tech. So I can have Play Explore Tech WordPress.com. I like it. Now you'll notice that there's also other versions down here and they have premium versions. One of the reasons why I like WordPress and starting with wordpress.com. If you're not ready to jump in and just host your own, start off with wordpress.com. If you like it, if you like the setup, if you like how things operate, if you like how uh, the the interface, how you get in there and, and type out posts and, and make your WordPress site run, if you like it all, it's very easy to move over from the free version over into one of these other premium versions, or as I do, I can you can easily export your website out and host your own version. So the nice thing is you can start here. I think you should start here for free and get a site up and running for free before you think about paying for all the other stuff. It's important to get in and play a little bit and explore. So once again, I can pay $2.99 a month and I can start with a personal one. I can pay premium. To get started, once again, to see if this is for you, start with the free version. So now what's happening is they're taking the software for WordPress, it's a program, and they're starting up your website and connecting it to that, that domain, that URL. So it says, thanks for waiting, hit continue. So now at this point, my site is up and running. Okay, so here is my Play Explore tech. I can copy that, I can paste it into a Word doc, I can send it in an email. So now playexplorertech.wordpress.com is my website. Um, so here is my URL, my address for my site. I can see that they've got me up and running. I have a site title, which is pointless. I have my first blog post. I have a nice pretty picture in here. I have my website up and running, but all of this is just stock content that they start you off with to get you up and running. I can click over here into my sites and I'll have this slide out bar where I can see the stats. I can see, uh, I can publish posts, pages, media. We're going to go through all of this at a later date. I can look at themes. We're going to look at that soon. Um, but I can basically look at all of the settings for my website. But once again, this is the front page. Okay. This is the front facing part of my website over here behind the scenes is where we dig into a lot of the, the, the background uh, information that makes my site run. Um, and I have other opportunities to come in and modify stuff. So we're gonna stop here um, because all I wanted to do with this first video is get us up and running, start up a WordPress site, think about your domain, think about the address that you, you wanna use, think about hosting and just letting it run for free. And, and I wanted to just get a website up and running in WordPress. And in subsequent videos, we'll take a look at 
themes, we'll take a look at content and posts and pages and tags and categories and everything else. But I think it's important just to get the website up and running and get you started before we really dig in. So with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Uh, by all means, you can take a visit back to my website. Um, you can follow all of my posts and all of my videos through the website. And then by all means, if you're interested in more content like this, uh, please check out my newsletter. I put together a weekly newsletter where I think about and talk about technology, literacy, education. I share some of the work that I do here, um, but then I also share some of my work and, and some of my thoughts about the intersection of those spaces. So thanks again, and hopefully this was of value to you.